Once again, a short thought to share with your family, but this time not on the Pasha, but rather Tisha B'Av. Sunday is Tisha B'Av. A horrific day. In this very day, we lost two Bote Migdash by Islishan and by Yishen. What is Tisha B'Av all about? Primarily about Avelis, mourning, and we know Egmin Hoge Avelis. But the Rambam writes in Perekei Mehel Chastan, Yoyis Yashom Yom Em Shekol Yisrael Nesanam Behem, Vepnei Atzarot Sheirau Laabutainu, Loirer Halavo Vois, Velaftoach Bedarke Hatshuvo. It's not only about Avelis and about mourning, it's about Shuvo, it's about being better. And why is that? Why is that? Whenever tragedy strikes, it is a Kodesh Bokhu calling out to us. Whether it's an individual, community, definitely when it's the entire people, the entire nation, it is a Kodesh Bokhu calling out to us. Kol Dorshul and even a Beis HaMikdash people say, that is nowhere to be found in Chazam, neither in Babri nor in Yerushalmi. What is written is far more harsh and more troubling. Someone bears responsibility. When we say it sounds as if it transpired, it happened. It didn't just happen. Someone did it. Someone bears responsibility. And who is that someone? That someone is me and you and everyone else. The entire generation. Because nothing is hard and nothing is difficult for a Kodesh Baruch Hu. For people, it is far easier to maintain a building and upkeep it than to rebuild it after it imploded. To a Kodesh Boch, it's all the same. If we don't have a Bismigdash, it is only because we are not fitting to have one. We don't deserve to have one. That means if we would have a Bismigdash this morning, it would be destroyed by noon. Because if you don't deserve a Bismigdash, you don't have one. If you deserve one, you have one. And that is why Chazal say, Maran Olaf Kilohu Hechrivo. And if we bear responsibility to the Korban, we bear responsibility to rebuilding the base of Megdash. And this is a fundamental principle in Amuna. When tragedy strikes the people, or a community, or an individual, Kodesh Boch is calling out to us. So what precisely do we need to do on Tisha B'Av? So the Novi says, What do those three words mean? And what Kesha do they have to the four fast days? I think it's very simple, and I said this a thousand times. When we will fix what we broke, we will rectify what went wrong. We will be zeichet to our base of Migdash. So the first base of Migdash was destroyed by Avoyin Bittel Teure. That's what we learn in the Torah and Peyal. Balozva misterosi shalai borcho betoire tchilo andaramba. That Anna explains. Torah wasn't precious in the rise. They lacked a love of Torah, appreciation of Torah. That is what it brought about the Chorban. What about Bayesheni, Yom Edaftes, Sin Aschinam? So the Novi says, these tragic days of mourning and the end of days will be transformed to days of joy, days of Simcha. When will that be? The Novi says, I can't tell you when, it's up to you. I can tell you how. And our Torah is Torah Semes, when you will love Torah. And that will rectify what went wrong with man by his, by his listen. 
instead of sinas chinam, ahavas chinam. Love every other Jew. Make an effort to see the beauty in every Jew. Then and only then we will be zaycha. That these tragic days, tzayim aravi, tzayim achamishi, tzayim ashvi, tzayim asiri, yehu lebeis yehuda lasosayim, ulesimcho, ulemayadim tayim, lebias goyal tzedek, bimeheiro, liyomeinu omein. Let us all have a beautiful tishabo, but a wonderful and a joyous tishabo with the base of Mingdash Ashlishi.